Hi students, in this video we will discuss variants of Turing machine and linear bounded automata. Variants of Turing machine. Right. First we can discuss about multi-tape Turing machine. We know about multi-track Turing machine. What is multi-track Turing machine? It will have a single tape but this tape will be divided into n number of tracks. Since I have only one tape, there will be only one read right head and this read right head can read from all the tracks at a time. At a time, it can read symbols from the all the tracks. But what is multi-tape Turing machine? Multi-tape Turing machine means I will have multiple tapes. I will have multiple tapes. Uh, since I have multiple tapes, I will have read right head for respective tape. Right, so here you can check it. So each tape will have its own read write head. Right, so each head and move independently of the others. And uh, this multi tape Turing machine is also equivalent to my standard Turing machine or my basic Turing machine. What is standard Turing machine? Turing machine with single tape, read write head, and a control unit. Because uh, if I want to check whether both are equal or not, maybe uh, in speed this multi-tape Turing machine may be little fast. But whatever task this multi-tape Turing machine can do, even my basic or standard Turing machine can do. That's how I can say both are equivalent. Standard Turing machine or basic Turing machine is equivalent to my multi-tape Turing machine. Right, why it is equivalent? Whatever task is done by um, multi-tape Turing machine, it can be done by my standard Turing, Turing machine also. Right, how I can um, prove this? Take, take a single uh, tape and now you can store the symbols from individual tape into that single tape. Right. Uh, suppose if you have three tape to check the equivalence, now you can take a single tape. You can copy the input strings from tape one, store it in the new tape. Right. Uh, then copy the symbols from tape two and store it in the um, new tape. So this uh, tape one symbol and tape two symbol should not be mixed with each other. So you can have a separator in between. And you know in multi-tape, uh, I have an uh, individual read-write head. Right? Each tape has its own read-write head. So this read-write head always it will be pointing to a, a symbol in my tape. It will be pointing to a symbol in my tape. So how to mark this um, read-write head? By using a small dot, I can mark. Right? Uh, so to whichever cell, the read right head is pointing you just keep a mark you just keep a mark right so now um, when the read right head you have a single tape right in that single tape only we are copying the input string from individual tapes and uh, the contents of individual tape is separated with a separator you can have a hash mark in between and you have to specify the read right head how to specify the read write head of individual tapes you can keep a marking just keep a dot in that cell whichever cell is pointed by the read write head you just keep a dot you just keep a dot now in the new uh, read write head right on uh, this read write head in the new tape the read write head it will start scanning from left end till the right end Right till it completes all the tracks, it scans the uh, symbol and how many dot is there, all the data dot represent that cell is pointed by the read right head. It will scan those data and it performs the given operation. Right, uh, so I can say multi tape is also equivalent to my basic or standard Turing machine. Next is non-deterministic Turing machine. You know the meaning of non-determinism. Non-determinism means a state taking a single input and moving to more than one state is 
non-determinism. So in Turing machine, if a state take, reads the input and if it makes a move to more than one state, I can say that Turing machine is a non-deterministic Turing machine. You can check state 2 read its input and it makes a move to Q1 and Q2 and so on. It makes a move to more than one state. Right? So such Turing machines are known as non-deterministic Turing machine. Right? So I can um, summarize like the language accepted by my Turing machine is recursive enumerable language and Turing machine is both language recognizers and calculators and basic Turing machine is equivalent to Turing machine with storage which we have learned in the previous video. Right, uh, Turing machine with storage is also equivalent to my basic Turing machine and uh, Turing machine with multi-track is also equivalent to my basic one. Turing machine with multi-tape is also equivalent to my basic one and non-deterministic Turing machine is also equivalent to your basic or standard Turing machine. Right. Uh, so Turing machines are like universal computing machines with unbounded storage. Universal computing machines with unbounded storage. Next we can discuss about linear bounded automata LBA. The language accepted by linear bounded automata is context sensitive languages. Right. Uh, a linear bounded automata is a multi-track non-deterministic Turing machine with finite length. Multi-track. So multiple tracks in a single tape and it is non-deterministic and the length of your tape is finite. Length of your tape is finite. That is your linear bounded automata. Multi-track non-deterministic Turing machine with finite length is known as linear bounded automata. Right, so this linear bounded automata is the eight tuple machine. Right, uh, you have uh, two new tuples, right, uh, left end marker and right end marker. As I said, uh, Turing, what is linear bounded automata? Turing, non deterministic Turing machine with finite length. Usually in Turing machine, the length of your tape is infinite, it doesn't have any boundary, but if I keep a boundary, left boundary and right boundary, and if I make that infinite length into finite length, then it becomes your linear bounded automata. So in linear bounded automata, I have two new tuples to mark the left end and the right end. Left end marker and the right end marker. Rest everything is same. And here it is multi-track and non-deterministic Turing machine. You know the meaning of non-determinism takes the input and makes the move to more than one state. Right, It reads the input and makes a move to more than one state. And the language accepted by linear bounded automata is context sensitive language. Right. So here in this video we have learned about variance of Turing machine and linear bounded automata. Hope you understood it. Thank you.